Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's your boy Big John. The app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video. And today, what I'm going to be showing you is a beginner's course on how to understand market structure. I'm going to be using one free indicator, which is pretty much on most of the trading platforms out there. And I'm going to show you how you can use this to scalp gold. This does work on anything that's any trading instrument but i want people to just see how i can use it on gold if you want to get into the one-time free vip access group where i'm giving out signals there's an alert entry system there's also trade ideas during the course of the week and i do weekly market analysis zoom calls then all you have to do is hit me up in telegram or discord all that information will be in the link below and with all that being said guys and girls let's get straight into the video Started from the bottom like Drake Got that John Mueller but I learned my mistakes Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes If you wanna be the boss, then you have to sell a gate Okay guys and girls, I am on my chart at the moment and what you can see is the green and the red triangles. These are showing you the fractal points. These are actually the William fractal points and here's an explanation of what they are. And this is the settings that I actually have it on. So usually I believe it's on a two, but I've set it to a five. A five gives you a nice overall average and shows you where some good higher highs, lower lows, lower highs and higher lows are being formed in the market. And today what I'm going to do is show you the break of structure method using this. So that's the BOS. There are other ways to use these fractal points and I'm just gonna briefly go over them now. And I can do videos about this in the future. Just make sure this gets 50 likes and I'll make other beginner courses on these as well. So we can see here our first one, because we had a bullish triangle here for a fractal point, we just put a line there. The market broke this line. And of course we had our buy going all the way up up there now we can pay attention to the bullish trend line here which we can see which is also known as a flag pattern and we can see this flag here had a retest towards this area here from when it originally started down here and had a touch up here our retest was over here and we had the continuation of the buy going all the way up now just to show you that it even works on different time frames as well so i've just gone up to the four hour time frame and we can see straight away here we have a bearish pennant pattern which is giving us a breakout in the market you could have been able to enter here and we can even see a retest towards this area here i was able to draw all of this out with the help of the fractal pattern showing me where market structure actually is being formed and last this is absolutely beautiful you can also use this to help you draw harmonic patterns as you see i was able to draw all the axes for the harmonic pattern using these fractal points and there you can see there was an entry for a trade here even with a break of structure and a continuation of a trend So what I'm going to do today is show you how you can use this on a 15 minute time frame scalping gold. And like I said in the beginning of the video, you can actually use this on any trading instrument. I don't want people to think you can only use this on gold, but let me just show you how it works on gold here. I can see the start of a trading day has happened over here. I've just marked it out for us. And then the next thing I'm looking for is the first set of bullish or bearish fractal points being created now i can see the first fractal point was created here so my break of structure level at first would be above here now you just want to make it wick to wick but if there is no wick on the candle then just put your line on the body of the candle that obviously has formed at the fractal point and we can see here there was a bearish one here all i'm going to be doing is paying attention to when the market actually breaks structure now we can see there was a break of structure here and this was a losing trade the reason being is because as soon as the market does break structure you want to give yourself a one bar candle stop loss which is actually at this point over here which we can see and the market did actually go back but it was only a 10 pip loss which was not even a problem at all now when we do go over to what happened here during the course of the day we had another fractal point for a bullish one that appeared here so what we would have done is moved this line over to this wick over here on a 15 minute time frame and then we would have been looking for our buys now we can see our buy did happen with the breakout of this candle and our stop loss below this level so we would have just been putting again our stop loss at one bar which is usually the breakout bar our stop loss would be there and we're going for a one to four risk to reward ratio or more we can see this actually went to a 11.92 
for a fantastic buy. And this is what's going to happen. Sometimes you are going to have fake outs with this type of strategy, but your whole aim is to make sure if you've got like a one to four, eventually what the market will do is break out and gives you that one to four. So even if you lose three entries in a row, you can still be profitable on the fourth one. And when you do catch big trades like this, it will make up for even having six losses in a row. Of course, I know it is NFP week and I don't want people to think I'm just cherry picking what i am trying to show you right now is that the market has bought up huge because it is nfp week so of course we're going to be expecting huge volatile moves in the market if we move over to here i've actually marked out the previous week which was the end of the month as well and was a friday and we can still see how the market was able to give us a trade setup we would have had our bullish break of structure line here and we would have had our bearish break of structure line here as the day continued we would have moved that one to here and another one down to here for the bearish one we can clearly see that the market did break through on the bullish side we had a one bar candle stop loss and we had more than a one to four trade here with an 18.65 trade which was fantastic so what i'm going to show you is how you can add an alert to these setups so what you want to look for is wherever the fractal point did appear again we're going to be using the wick there or the body of the candle that's closest to that fractal point and you just right click over it when you right click over it of course i've already added the alert here you will be able to go to add an alert but i'm just going to edit this one for the time being i need to know the price action level which is 16.64 and i've just put that there 16.64 and i've put fractal crossing value 16.64 once per bar close and we can see from when it goes to once per bar close i just go to save and the market will tell me and put this line here telling me that once the market breaks this level on a 15 minute time frame we will get an alert there and i can do the same thing over here so either or i wouldn't have to be at my screen all the time i would be able to get an alert when the market does actually break through these levels and there you go there's an alert right over here for the buy of market structure so this is a scalping strategy i am personally a swing trader when it comes to gold the majority of the time but of course, if people have the time to be at the charts, then this is a strategy for you. At the start of every day, make sure you wait for your bullish or your bearish fractal point, And then you're just going to be moving your break of structure levels with the market as it creates new market structure. So that's new fractal points. And then when it does break out from one of these fractal point levels, so the line you have drawn, then you want to make sure you enter the market with a one bar candle stop loss. So your stop loss will be above or below the bullish or bearish candle, depending on direction. Also, if you are going for a one to four trade, when your trade goes to about one to two in profit, then what you want to do is put your stop Stop loss at break even and look to possibly take partial profits if not when it goes one to three you definitely want to take 75 percent of your trade profits off the table and with all of that being said guys and girls i've pretty much given you a good explanation of what you can do here if you'd like me to go over more courses like this where i'll be showing you how to use one free indicator in order to help your trading then please let me know let this video get 50 comments and don't forget guys and girls like comment subscribe if you want to get into the one-time vip mentorship hit me up in discord or telegram all the information is in the description below if you want to get into my forex funds and you want to help me out with clicking on the affiliate link all the information is below and with all that being said it's your boy Big John and I'm out. Peace. Starting from the bottom like Drake. Got that John Mueller, but I learned my mistakes. Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes. If you wanna be the boss, then you have to delegate.